Hey guys, it's Saga from Techworks, and it's time to put the dual cameras on the Nokia 7 Plus up against the ones on the OnePlus 6. Now these phones are not competing with each other in terms of specs or price, but many of you still requested me to make this video, so here it is. It's important to know the price of these two smartphones before we look at their camera specifications and start comparing the images. OnePlus 6 starts at 34,999 rupees and the Nokia 7 Plus is available at 25,999 rupees. So there is a 9,000 rupees difference between the price of both these phones. For this price, OnePlus 6 comes with a 16 megapixel primary camera and a 1.7 aperture. It has pixel size of 1.12 micron and it also has optical image stabilization. The secondary camera has a 20 megapixel sensor with f1.7 aperture and a smaller pixel size of 1 micron. This one does not have OIS and it is only used for sensing depth information for portrait shots. Both the cameras have a similar focal length, but you can still take 2x images. These images are just digitally zoomed by cropping in the actual shot. On the Nokia 7 Plus, primary camera has a 12 megapixel sensor with f1.75 aperture and a larger pixel size of 1.4 micron. Secondary camera has a 13 megapixel sensor with f2.6 aperture and it gets a 2x telephoto lens. There is no OIS on either of these cameras and the phone uses gyro EIS to stabilize the videos. Both the cameras on this phone are equipped with Zeiss optics. At 16 megapixel, OnePlus 6 has a higher megapixel count of the two, but it has a smaller pixel size of 1.22 micrometers. Nokia 7 Plus has a 12 megapixel sensor, but at 1.4 micrometer, size of each individual pixel on this sensor is bigger. So the results of this camera comparison are going to be interesting. On the OnePlus 6, you can shoot 4K videos at up to 60 frames per second, 1080p videos at up to 240 frames per second, and 720p videos at 480 frames per second. While on the Nokia 7 Plus, you are limited at shooting 4K and 1080p videos at 30 frames per second. And the front, both have a 16 megapixel camera with f2.2 aperture and electronic stabilization. You can also take portrait images with the front facing camera on both. After using these phones for a long time and taking many images with them, I feel the camera interface on the OnePlus 6 is better and more intuitive as most of the camera modes are just a swipe away. While the interface on the Nokia 7 Plus is a bit restrictive with some of the features being buried inside a secondary menu. That being said, I like how on the Nokia 7 Plus, the Pro mode is very easily accessible by just pulling out the shutter button. With specs out of the way, let us now take a look at the image and video samples from both these phones. But before that, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the amazing videos coming up on this channel. As always, we start with the daylight images. Both phones have no problem capturing lot of details in bright lighting conditions. Nokia produces slightly warmer images, while the OnePlus 6 leans towards capturing cooler color tones. There is also a bit more contrast in the colors from the OnePlus 6, so its images are looking slightly better over here. Nokia tries to bump up the exposure in almost all of its images. It might look good depending on the conditions that you are in, but in most of the daylight situations, it results in certain parts of the images being overexposed. So you might have to manually adjust the exposure on the Nokia 7 Plus if you want better looking images. OnePlus 6 has a better dynamic range of the two, so it handles the brighter and darker parts of the images well and creates balanced images. In this image, OnePlus clearly did a better job of bringing up the details in the shadows and making the image look more colorful. Now even though I am saying that the OnePlus 6 did better in these images, performance of the Nokia 7 Plus is also noteworthy. It is doing a good job of capturing a lot of details thanks to the larger pixel size of 1.4 micron. It also has a secondary telephoto lens while both the lenses on the OnePlus 6 have a similar focal length. You can take 2x zoomed images from both the phones. Ones from the Nokia are optically zoomed, but those from the OnePlus are digitally cropped in. Because of this fact, zoomed images from the Nokia 7 Plus are clearly better and sharper, but those from the OnePlus 6, although not as sharp, don't seem to be bad at all. Close-up shots from both these phones are incredible. Thanks to the very wide aperture on both the primary cameras, 
you get a very nice bouquet. The subject that you tap on or trying to capture is in sharp focus and the background is nicely blurred out. Both of them have captured such amazing close-up shots that it is difficult to call one better than the other. Which one of these close-up shots do you guys prefer? Let me know in the comments. Both capture portrait shots in different way. OnePlus uses two cameras of similar focal length to capture all the information it needs. So you can stand pretty close to the subject for capturing these portrait shots. For the same portrait shot, Nokia 7 Plus uses information from two lenses of different focal length. So you have to stand at some distance from the actual subject while taking these shots. Resulting images are pretty good from both the phones. OnePlus shows better dynamic range, but the edge detection is equally accurate on both. Both can definitely use some improvements via software updates. But if you take little time, they can produce good looking portrait shots as you can see here. Nokia 7 Plus has one advantage. You can change the amount of blur with the help of this slider while you are clicking the image. Or even in the bokeh editor after you have clicked the image. I love to take portrait shots of objects. And you can see both the phones do a good job with it. Background in the portrait shots of the Nokia 7 Plus is more compressed as it uses some of the information from the telephoto lens. Edge detection from both is on point even while capturing complex objects like these. So when it comes to portrait shots, both do an equally good job. Only downside on the Nokia is that you have to stand at some distance from the subject and give the camera a few extra seconds to successfully sense the depth of the shot. As we start moving to artificial and low lighting conditions, you might start noticing OnePlus 6 capturing a bit richer looking colors. Its images are also slightly sharper than those from the Nokia 7 Plus. In few of the shots, OnePlus captures more noise as you can see in the darker parts of the image. Again in this shot, if you look closer, there is a bit more noise from the OnePlus 6. But you can see, both captured good colors even in lower light. In this particular image, OnePlus decided to expose for the lights while the Nokia 7 Plus exposed for the entire scene. For me, both images are good in their own way and I like both of them. These images are very detailed from both the phones considering the lighting. But if you look at this part at the top, OnePlus 6 captures lot more noise. In previous OnePlus phones, there was an HQ mode which would come in handy for reducing noise in these situations. But sadly, it is not there anymore. OnePlus 6 packs in top of the line processor and a very powerful image signal processor to process all of these images. But the Nokia 7 Plus packs in a Snapdragon 660 processor and a relatively lower part image signal processor. But it still does well in capturing good images in lower lighting conditions. OnePlus does better when the light is extremely low like this. And it also delivers better images with the flash turned on. Both the phones capture good looking selfies with the 16 megapixel front facing cameras. OnePlus does slightly better with the dynamic range just as it did with the rear camera. And it also seems to add a little bit of sharpening to these images in post processing. As I've mentioned earlier, both can take portrait images with the front facing camera. OnePlus 6 got this feature with one of the recent software updates. So it is not the best at detecting the edges, especially around the hair. I'm sure OnePlus will improve this mode with future software updates. But at the time of making this video, I prefer the front facing portrait images from the Nokia 7 Plus. Here is a quick video sample from the front facing camera of the OnePlus 6 and the Nokia 7 Plus. Both have electronic image stabilization, so the videos are pretty cropped in. This is a 1080p 30 frames per second video sample from both the phones. Nokia uses EIS to stabilize the video. OnePlus has OIS and EIS, but while shooting 30 frames per second videos, it uses only EIS. And optical stabilization is at work only while shooting 60 FPS videos. Both of them can also take 4K videos at 30 frames per second. But these videos are not stabilized on the Nokia 7 Plus. OnePlus can also capture 4K videos at 60 frames per second, 1080p videos at up to 240 frames per second, and 720p videos at up to 480 frames per second. Now as I was almost done editing this video, OnePlus released a software update for the OnePlus 6 which is supposed to improve its camera performance. So I updated the software on the OnePlus 6, checked if there are any OT updates for the Nokia 7 Plus and went out again to take some more sample shots for this video. It was pretty overcast and to be honest, I did not find the software update on the OnePlus 6 
to add any major improvements to its camera performance as compared to before. The details and contrast in its images are just as they were before. Dynamic range also seems aggressive and just as good as it was before the software update. I also took some portrait shots with the front facing camera of both the phones again. And here I think we see some improvements on the OnePlus 6. As we have seen before, Nokia 7 Plus has been good at detecting the edges. But after this update, OnePlus 6 also seems to be doing pretty well in isolating the subjects from the background. We saw over 50 image and video samples until now. And we can certainly say that the OnePlus 6 shows slightly better dynamic range, has a more convenient portrait mode for the rear camera and captures slightly sharper images in lower light. But the Nokia 7 Plus is not too far behind in any of these situations and it also captures less noise in lower light. Thanks to the larger pixel size, Nokia 7 Plus ends up capturing a lot of information. As I have mentioned before, there is a 9000 rupees difference between the price of these phones, but the difference between their camera performance is actually a lot closer. OnePlus 6 is the definite winner, but the Nokia 7 Plus is a very close second in this competition. If you already own the Nokia 7 Plus and want to improve the quality of your images, you can install Google Camera API on your phone. Its advanced processing gives you better looking images when compared to the stock camera app. You can do the same for the OnePlus 6, but right now, there isn't a version of Google Camera API that just works on the OnePlus 6 without any issues. But I am sure many developers are working on it and a good stable version will be out pretty soon. If you are looking to choose between these phones based on their camera alone, then go with the OnePlus 6. It will not only give you better cameras, but also an overall better phone with flagship internals. But if you want to save some money and still want a pair of really good cameras on your phone, then go with the Nokia 7 Plus. And trust me, you won't be disappointed. So after looking at all these images, what do you think about the cameras on these phones? Let me know in the comments. If you are planning to get any of these phones, I will really appreciate if you get them from the links in the description. It helps the channel out at no extra cost to you. That is it for this video guys. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel for more quality tech videos like this. You can also check out some of the other videos from this channel. This has been Saga and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.